hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make a kimono dress if this is what you seem interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial in case you are just hearing my voice for the very first time my name is chiwendo and here on this channel i upload sewing tutorials every week so please consider subscribing hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification to get notified once i upload a new video you guys i have my beautiful ankara print on top of the table and this Ankara print is um, 1 yard and 24 inches. So it's not even up to 2 yards. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and fold this print into 4. As you can see on top of the table. So I'm just trying to arrange it in place. Once I am done folding, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark the starting line and from this starting line I'm going to place my tape and mark out the length of the kimono so from the starting line I'm going to go vertically and the length of this kimono is going to be on my knee length so I'll be making use of 36 inches so I'm going to mark down 36 inches and then i'm going to also mark out two inches extra which is going to serve as the hemming allowance so in this case you are marking down to 38 inches now i'm going to cut off the excess and then we go back to the starting line now place your tape on the starting line again and you are going to from there mark out the bust points so here my bust points i'll be making use of 11 inches i'll mark still leaving my tape on the starting line i'll mark out the waistline 17 inches and then i will also go ahead and mark out my hip line which is 26 inches and you can see i have my length now from here we are going to have to from the center front go ahead and mark out the length of the sleeve so i want the length of this sleeve to be 14 inches i will mark and then from this starting line which is the shoulder line i'm going to come down by 9.5 inches so this 9.5 inches is my armhole divided by two and it's going to serve as the chest line now from the starting line again come down by one inch and then go ahead and connect it into the shoulder line so this one inch is going to be our shoulder slope now once you are done with this go ahead and connect your shoulder slope and your chest line together and that is going to be the armhole depth okay so now for our neck width and our neck depth, I'm going to be making use of neck width of 3 inches for the front. And then for the depth, I'm going to make use of 1.5 inches. I'll go ahead and connect. Now, the same thing goes for the front. The neck width of the front is going to be 3 inches and the depth i'm going to make is of seven inches because the front neck is going to be a v neckline after you mark out the seven inches go ahead and come in by half an inch and then connect this half an inch into the shoulder line so now that we are done with this we are going to have to divide all our body measurement by four so go down to the bust point divide your bust circumference by four and you mark it so my bust circumference is 39 inches divided by four i marked and then added 1.5 inches for my ease allowance because a kimono ought to be very free on the body 
okay so after you add this 1.5 inches also add up one inch for sewing allowance and you connect this into the chest line now i'm going down to the waist you're going to divide your waist circumference by four and you mark plus 1.5 inches for ease and one inch for sewing allowance so you go ahead and connect it into the bust point okay now from here you are going to go down to the hip so your hip circumference divided by four mine is 11 okay 44 divided by four i had 11 and then added my ease plus my sewing allowance so whatever i have on my hip line i'm going to as well mark it on the length of this kimono okay so you guys we are done marking out the shape it's time for us to cut it out now to cut out you are going to first of all cut the back neck okay and after you cut it don't forget to add up your half an inch for sewing allowance okay so once you mark it out go ahead and connect and continue to cut it out all right so you can see what i am doing this is actually very simple you guys so guys um if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification so you can actually get to be the first to get notified once i upload a new video and also don't forget to share this video to get more people to see it that way you get to support the growth of this channel all right now that we are done cutting this out you are going to remove one piece which is going to be our back okay and we are going to work on the front so for the front we are going to go ahead and cut out the v neckline right now and once you are done cutting it out go ahead and slash it so that we can have two pieces okay so you can see the way i'm cutting this out first of all coming by half an inch and then cut out your v neckline okay and then you're going to have to slash this into two so you can see the center front you're going to have to open it up so that we can have two piece Now we are going to bring in the back piece and we also have the front piece right there right so i'm going to ensure that the front and the back piece are right side facing each other so you can see the way i'm arranging it so that we can go join the shoulders together So after I arrange it, I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and stitch the shoulders, the two shoulders together. Once I am done stitching the shoulders together, I'm also going to stitch the side seams together. Okay, so I will go over to my sewing machine and do that and come show you guys what we have so guys i'm done joining the shoulders together i'm going to go ahead and add up a plain material on the hem of the sleeve so first of all i'm going to open up my sleeve and then i'm going to go ahead and measure the wideness of the sleeve you can see i have 17 inches i'm going to cut out a plain material all right this is a crepe and the length is going to be two inches and don't forget that this is on fold okay the wideness here is a little bit bigger than the wideness of the sleeve so i'm going to trim it off a little and you guys i'm going to go ahead and sew this into the sleeve so i'm going to make sure that the wrong side of the dress is facing the right side of the 
plain material and i'm going to sew using half an inch and then turn over to the right side and top stitch okay so you can see i've done that for the two parts of my sleeve now next i'm going to next step i'm going to take is to join this plain material on the neck down to the hem of my kimono okay and to do that i'm going to make sure that i locate the middle of the neck you can see i'm placing a notch right there and once i am done i'm going to bring in my tape to measure around the neck and down to the hem okay so i'm going to measure one part of it and whatever i have i'm going to times it by two okay because whatever i have right at one side of this kimono is what i'm going to have on the other side so in that case after measuring one part of it i'm going to times it by two so after i measured this particular part what i had was 44 inches okay so once i times it by two i'm going to have 88 inches so guys i'm going to cut out about 95 inches okay it's always good to have excess and the wideness i'm going to use is two inches i'm going to sew using half an inch and the remaining should be 1.5 inches so you guys have cut out my strap and i'm going to fold it into two and note the center okay i am going to as well measure this out so that you guys can see the length i have so i think i have about 100 inches or so it's always good to have it in excess in case okay so i'm going to go right to my sewing machine and i will locate the center of the fabric and the center of the strap and then i'll pin it down and to sew this i'm going to start from this middle and sew through one corner down to the hem and then come back and sew through the other side down to the hem and once i am done sewing this i'll give it a good press and then hem the down part i'm going to go ahead and put this dress on the mannequin so that you see the finished look okay I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please share to get more people to see this. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.